In this video, I'm just gonna be blurring the background. So I'm gonna start by moving over to the selections persona and then clicking on the smart selection brush tool, I'm gonna to paint over the subject. And then I'm going to go on the Refine Selection tool and I'm going to paint over some of the more complicated areas. And then when you're happy with that, just press the tick at the bottom. Now I'm going to invert the selection so it's only affected in the background and not the woman. And then moving over to the filter studio, I'm going to go down to Gaussian Blur. And then I'm going to click that lightning bolt thing to make it a live filter so I can go back and change it later if I need to. And I'm just bringing the radius up. And then pressing this button at the bottom is just going to help the filter not affect the edges too much. And then going back on the filter studio, I'm going to add a lighting filter. So I'm going to drag the very top circle over to the top right corner. Then using that middle circle at the bottom I'm going to use that just to move it around till I've got it where I want it. And then I'm going to change the ambient colour to a very warm peachy red colour. I'm then going to bring the opacity down I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light and this just helps to add a lot more warmth into the picture. And now if you can see around the edges of the woman, it looks a bit strange and it's a bit too bright. So just add a mask layer onto the Gaussian Blur. And then using the paintbrush tool and the colour on black, I'm just going to lower the opacity, lower the flow. And I'm going to make the brush a little bit smaller and just paint around the edges and that's going to get rid of that. <laughs> 